We'll talk about the masterminds and court generals on the floor, the best cards in the UAAP. Joining us to talk about his picks is UAAP analyst coach Willie Wilson. Coach Willie, welcome to the game. It's time to talk about college basketball once again. Thank you for having me, guys. Always a pleasure, Coach Willie. And of course, uh, this uh, list was made with no bias. And uh, <laughs> really, no one should be mm. angry about the Not players late. who were missed out here. So let's start off with the first one. <laughs> Deb, who do you want to start with? Uh, let's start with LJ Gonzalez, of mm. course, of the FEU Tamaraos. Coach Willie. Well, I think he fills a really, really big hole left by RJ Barrientos. So, I mean, it's, it's hands down that the ball will be in his hands. Yeah. The majority of the time, he shared the ball a lot last season with, with RJ. And look at the numbers that he put up. I feel that with him now being the sole provider there in that backcourt, we're going to see those numbers inflate even more. You know, you look at the uh, what LJ has done, and uh, I think the big question is, with more usage, will he be as efficient? Will he be less efficient? Will he be detrimental? How do you see this working out for him? Well, you see this where he gets his shots at, which are mainly at the rim. I don't think that ability to get to the rim will change at yeah. all. I mean, especially you surround him with shooters similar like like Cyrus Torres, mm -hmm. you know, which you can't sag off of Cyrus Torres. He will still be getting his shots at the rim. He will just now be getting more shots. Right. Let's go now to the next player. One guy that we saw grow in our own very eyes, Jerome Lastimosa. On his rookie year, we saw that he could already play with the big guys, with the, with the veterans. But of course, he's grown to become a leader for Adamson. Well, again, Mr. Ice in his veins, Jerome Lassimosa, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you want to call him. More of the same again this coming season. Everybody knows the ball is, is going to be in his hands. Everybody knows he's going to take the big shots at the end of games. But can they stop it? <laughs> we saw what he did last season. He's probably added a little bit more to his bag. And I mean, I'm just so excited to see him go out there and, and do his thing. He's fearless. He's uh, He has playing with a chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. In fact, the whole of Adamson is. Uh, we were talking to Coach Nasrosella talking a bit about that, how they feel that maybe they're going to this underdog mentality. We saw what Jerome did last time. What key improvements do you think that he should have going the next season? Well, he's looking, he, well, he's preparing now for that, for that PBA draft. Yeah. Okay. PBA is a ball screen league. Maybe, we know that he has the isolation game. Let's see him make reads in the mm -hmm. ball screen, and, and if, that can, if that can translate well, then for sure, that's a first-round pick. Right, let's go now to another guard, this one. I don't think that he'll be part of the list because he wasn't the starter last season for his team, the NU Bulldogs. But you put here, Coach Willis, see Steve Nash Enriquez. <laughs> yeah. what, what about Steve Nash that you like? Okay, let's, let's well, be fair here. here. Let's aside, be fair here. Aside from his gloriously long hair, <laughs> yes. aside from that, and his well-groomed mustache, um, <laughs> Again, and his they, name, of course. I, we say well groomed much dash, and that's a photo we chose. <laughs> but yes, uh, look, his numbers are not impressive, Coach, yeah, no, uh, to no, be completely they are frank. Not, they are not. So how do you justify this? Again, he shared that backcourt with John John Felicilda, who is no longer there. Mm -hmm. Now, we know the style of play that NU is going to throw out there, which is defense, 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 high pace, in your face defense. And that is Steve Nash's calling card. Mm -hmm. he, he goes out there, he puts pressure, and now we're gonna see him out there a lot longer. They produced in their last tournament by winning it, winning it all, they've gotten that experience. I say we're gonna see a much more improved and a much more higher used Steve Nash Enriquez. Right, so we're expecting Steve Nash to play a bigger role for NU. This one I kind of expected because I'm sitting beside two alumni of La Salle. <laughs> We put in Shani Winston. I had no choice in this. I had no input. What are you talking I, about? I think you guys had I'm a little chat before, royal blue. Before, to, before this episode, right? So Shani Winston, Coach Willie. Well, I could have went with Evanelli. Mm -hmm. I could have went with Mark Nonoy. But, you know, Shani Winston had that impressive first game. Kind of fell off a little bit. And then picked it up towards the end of last season. He's gotten used to Philippine basketball, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I feel that he knows what works. Um, LaSalle knows what works. We're going to see him even better mm -hmm. this coming season. You know, you brought up a big point that he kind of tapered off after a big game, and we actually saw that, you know, in little fits and goes mm -hmm. for Shawnee Winston in last season. What is the key for consistency for him? Because that has been one of the things that LaSalle have been wishing for when it comes to Sean Winston. Well, he had that big first game. So the teams that were going to be playing him next, they say, okay, 
this is what he likes to do, this is what he does well. Mm -hmm. he, he, he didn't really know how to deal with that. And then once he figured that out towards the second half of the season, then he was like, okay, you know what? I can get my shots here. This is what, this is another thing that I can do well. Yeah. And he just did a lot more of that. Um, Coach Derek Pumarin probably put him in better spots for him to produce, and which is why he had those big games. You know, Coach Willie, uh, there's a guy here that uh, <laughs> my partner wishes was here. I know. Uh, okay, so you, you bring this up because uh, you were very against this. I mean, on. I was looking for a fifth guy. Maybe you have someone in your honorable <laughs> mentions list, but how come we don't have here someone from the defending champions, <laughs> or specifically uh, JD, JD Kagulang? Kagula. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's, let's, let's throw JD's name out there, right? JD, I, okay. you, which you. I don't think anybody <laughs> needs to be informed of. Mm. Uh, he hit the biggest shot mm. in UP basketball history. Okay. Um, so. You know, it, it, it goes without saying that JD is going to be JD. JD is going to do his game at the highest turnover, turnover to um, assist to turnover ratio. Mm -hmm. Just very, very good with the basketball. We know he can score. Right. He was a scorer in high school. Um, but I just, you know, I, I wanted to give, give a little bit more shine. Yeah. To, to the other players. I, no, no, no. The real answer is because he's mad because he left La Salle, all right? That, that's the reason I why. Know, I know, no, I know. It could be. No. It could be. It Coach, be. Coach Willie, really appreciate you coming on. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coach Always Willie. have a great time here.